Okay, let us start. Talking about chemical reactions. Describing chemical reactions. A change in which one or two or one or more substances are converted into a new substance. And then reactants. The substances that react and are on the left side of a, a reaction. That's like your starting, your starting material. Am I good? No. Not yet? Okie dokie. I got a gift idea for some of you for next Christmas. Ask for like a million folders. You guys need them. Some of you. Hey, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm just kidding. Alan's got one. She's got a folder. see how many papers she has. Oh, yeah, but at least her papers need. You only need one good folder. If you know how to handle it, I've got one folder. If you know where everything's at in it, that's good enough. I don't use my folders. I just put them in. I definitely don't throw them in. I don't throw them in. I don't like to Okay. Moving on. Describe, well, again, describing chemical reactions. Products. They're the substances that are produced in a reaction. They are on the right side of an equation. Conservation of mass, okay, and we'll talk about this later, but the mass of the products produced has to equal the mass of the products or the reactants used. So the mass of the left has to equal the mass of the right. Moving on, or sorry, I didn't ask. Everybody good? Okay.
Maybe. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, they did. One person. I'm not going to oust them for, ta for taking good notes. There's a reason she takes so long. She gets good grades, probably. I don't know. Yeah. That is not good handwriting. That's good enough. I didn't start right away. That's why I'm not done. That's okay. Okay, are we done now? Oh, for me it is. catch up. Uh, again. Okay. This was illustrated by burning a candle in a jar. The, as the oxygen is us, utilized and equal to the amount of carbon dioxide produced. This is oh, Lavo, Lavoisier's contribution. A sample of mercury-2 oxide as placed placed in a sealed container. Okay. So, we'll, we'll finish it. Is there, yeah, there's notes on this. Okay. I'll just discuss the experiment when we're done with it. Excuse me. And then we're not doing anything after that? No. Here, can I see this? Okay. Okay, I'm recording it. And we're going to do a lot more of it. Okay, can I move on? Upon heating, a change was noticed. The red powder was transformed into a silvery liquid. Lazofire. Ugh. Mr. L was recognized as this mercury metal, metal. As he measured both products, the mass was the same as the red powder he started with. I'm going to flip real quick. What's next? But it's back to back to normal. Is that good? Uh, this experiment set the basis for modern chemistry and a valuable tool for understanding chemical equations. Writing equations. As nickel one chloride, two chloride, excuse me, is added to sodium hydroxide, new products are formed.
talking about? What? Uh, I'm not tricking anybody. No. See what? How could? What are you seeing? I know that, but it takes too much time. When I just look here and it tells the exact time. You see what other seconds? a laser pointer. And you probably knew that. I didn't know that till today. Uh, two and a half. Do you put creamer in your coffee? I do not. That's disgusting. Nah. That's how you age old. Says you. All right. Uh, hold up, don't write anything down. Okay, we're going to finish on this one, and then we're going to move to our next section of the, uh, I don't know what you call it. Nope, good old black coffee. It's what America was built on. No, we threw out that tea in Boston. No identical twins are half of the same person. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that. Yeah. Genetically. So do they only have like half a brain? Yes. No. <laughs> You'll learn in biology next year. <laughs> yeah, you do. Sure you do. I'm not. That's not how this works. I don't know. I'm looking for a job. Here. With you guys? Ugh. It's not open. Well, let's make it open. No, no. He's a good guy. He's a good teacher. You just gotta you gotta listen to him. He's a he's nice. Nice fella. It, only if you listen though. Who? Don't even get me started on nice. Who are you talking about? He gets off topic really easily. So do I. Um and that's a good thing. That's a good thing for you guys. You guys need to learn how to get me off topic. Uh, that's what you think. That's what you think. All right, all right. You know how you get better at handwriting? I don't know. I have bad handwriting. Okay, is everybody done? No, okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who said hey? <laughs> Somebody say something. Oh, okay. Layla, you can't hear the students on the video. No, you can't. What's that again? Yeah. I can yeah, read yeah. your writing. I can't read your writing. I can read my own writing ish. Oh, I don't know where it was. Last slide today. Basketball girls can leave. Good luck. Good luck tonight. What's that? They left one minute early? <laughs> yeah, they did. We just happened to be at a very good spot. All right, we got to go back just for a little bit. Tell me what slide. Uh, not this one. This one? Okay. So we're going to sit tight just for a little bit, and then we will start doing something. I would love to do an experiment. Let's do one Monday. Yes! How's that sound? We'll, we'll figure something out. Good. Excellent. We'll do an experiment. Okay. Uh, it'll be more of a de demonstration. Oh, we can do that. I will have to talk to Mr. McKenney about blowing up something. Tannerite? Something. Maybe. If I can find a good blowing up thing. Okay. Uh, 
Okie dokie. So, yes, you can put your notes away. But by the end of next week, I do not, I expect to not hear, I don't know how to do this, because we're about to do this about a million times up here. You know, this is, this is the pinnacle of stepping from physical science to chemistry. What? Math. math, a little bit of math. Junior. Okay. Is everybody ready? <laughs> Why do I put the two down there? Yep, it's diatomic. It's it's a gas, so it's going to be diatomic. It means it has two atoms. So, like I was saying, um, yeah, yes, but lithium's a solid, chlorine's a gas. So all gases. So anything in red up there will have a two next to it. Diatomic. Yep, and it means it needs two atoms to be satisfied by itself. And then. Bromine and iodine are also diatomic. Good. Okay. So, not the noble gases. Noble gases will not be diatomic, and we do not use them in reactions because they're already full and they're already satisfied with what they have. Okay. So, Li, Cl, what does it equal? We've seen this exact equation before. L I C L, right? Does plus one minus one. It's good. No, we cannot, because it's diatomic as a gas, right? We're just talking about yeah. So we cannot get rid of this too, because lithium's a solid. So lithium, okay. I'm gonna draw something. It might make sense, but we'll we'll see. So lithium. It can just sit around like this in a big pile. So each one is an atom of lithium. It can just sit around. Whereas chlorine, I'm going to use a different color. Chlorine is floating, floating around. And when it's floating around, it has enough energy where it needs to bond to something else. And most of the time, that will be each other. So chlorine will be floating around together, bonded together, known as diatomic. So whether, whether it makes sense or not, you have to know that chlorine, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, bromine, fluorine, did I get them all? Iodine will all be diatomic. OK, so I would recommend, uh, yeah, you can. We're going to do this more. But we now, what do you notice? How many lithium do we have on this side? How many lithium do we have on this side? One. Just one. How many chlorine do we have on this side? Two. How many chlorine do we have on this side? One. So that's a problem. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. That's a good question. Um, so we have more chlorine on this side than we do this side. We can't have that. We need it to be equal on both sides. No, because that would be saying this compound has two chlorine in it. So that's why we can't do it. Because that would, make, that would mean we have a negative two charge instead of a negative one. They don't balance. The equation doesn't work. So we've got to get rid of that. It has to be one behind the chlorine. So how do we get two chlorine on this or on the other side? You're going to put, put these numbers in front of it, these big numbers in front of it. Is there a word for what you call these numbers? Coefficients, yes. Coefficients. You're going to put a coefficient in front of them to signify that you have two. So we have two chlorine on this side. Everybody up here? Two chlorine on this side. We need to have two chlorine on this side. So I'm going to put a two. That means I have two lithium and two chlorine. Well, shoot. Now I've got two lithium over here. 
but only one over here. So what do you think I should do over here? Put a two. And this can be one or left blank, it doesn't matter. So I've got two lithium over here, I've got two chlorine over here. No, this stays here. Why? What are you confused about? The whole thing. Why do we need the two in front of it? And why do we not have the other two? Okay, so why not this? Uh -huh. Because they're not bonded together. This signifies that two lithium are bonded together. So like one of the lithiums bonded to the chlorine or what? Or they're just floating around? This one? Right here? This means it's just it's a pile of lithium, right? Because lithium's not a gas, it's a solid. So it's a pile of lithium not bonded together, just sitting on top. It's like, it's like, um, oh, I got a good idea. It's like a piece of paper just sitting around. Lithium as a piece of paper can just sit around, whereas chlorine needs to be together like a staple. It needs to be get together like a staple. So lithium can just sit on the floor fine, but chlorine, because it's floating around, needs to be together. I don't know. That's not, it's just another way of visualizing what we're talking about. So chlorine has to be well, together. That. How is? It's not. This is the reaction. Right? So adding lithium to chlorine will give you lithium chloride. Cool? Maybe? So <laughs> potassium bromide. Let's, let's do it again. That's OK. We're going to say it again. Potassium. Okay, yeah, it's, 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 this, this is not balanced. You would, it's the same thing. Okay, back up here, back up here. Up here, everybody. If I do not have your eyes, you are incorrect. So we're going to do the same thing. How many bro and this, uh, okay. Nah, I'm going to add that later. Yep. Yep, because we need two BR over here. We need two because we have two right here. That means we need two over here. Well, now we have two potassium. So we need two potassium over here. Saying why is there a two behind the BR? Yeah, I don't know why you need yeah. that. You do. <laughs> okay, say that again. Oh, he's got a reaction for us. Excellent. Which one into here? Which one into what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't you can dump that one in there and do it on the camera so people can see that. Yep. Okay. Say that one more time for me. Okay, okay, so let's go back to our, dot, we'll do a dot diagram for you. So, okay, we're going to do a potassium bromide. So our K, right? And we have our BR. Simple, we know that. How many electrons does a bromine have? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there a spot where I can throw another bromine onto here? No. No, there's not. So that means there cannot be two bromine. But there can't be two Ks either. Then. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Saying two potassium bromide in front is like saying we have two, two of these. It just means that we double it. We have now have two potassium bromines. Yeah. Say two potassiums, we have two Ks. Does that make sense? So we have, it, it's multiplying the, the compound behind it. That's, that's, okay, I see what you mean. So it's not doing it only to this one, it's doing it to the entire compound. Okay, and then eventually we'll start talking about moles and why this is important. Because we're, what, conservation of mass. 
right? We, we, we talked about it briefly. Whereas the weight, here, we'll talk about it right now. All right, get rid of this. So the weight on this side, the mass on this side, has to equal the mass on this side. They have to be the same. There's no way in the universe that you can lose mass for going from one side to the other in a closed system. A closed system meaning in a box, a box that cannot be, any, nothing can be put into it and nothing can be taken out of it. So you have this reaction in a box, you will never lose weight either way. Okay, so potassium has a mass of what? What does potassium have a mass of? I don't know where my... 39. 39. Thank you, Mr. McKenney. So potassium has a weight of 39. Bromine has a weight of... Somebody want to tell me? 79. 79. But we have two of them, so we've got to multiply it by two. We only have one. Let's get rid of the numbers. So 39 times 1 equals 39. 79 times 2 is 158. I think that's right. Yes, that would be right. 158. This would equal 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 1, 4, 9. We got 197 over here. Over here, it would be we have one potassium. So we have 39 times 1, and we have 1 bromine, which means we have 79 times 1, which gives us, I don't know, uh, 118, I believe. Yeah, 118. Okay, and they don't equal. So that means we, if we do the twos, yeah, if we do two. We only need one bromine. Yeah, but you have the two. We have the two, yep. So, do you want me to run through it to say that this does work out? Or does this make sense to all of you? Because I can do it. I do not mind. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Right? I got the two from here for potassium. Two from here for bromine. Um, 39 times 2 is 78. Nope. Is, yeah. 78 plus bromine times 2. I think we already did it. 158. 6, 12, 1, 2. Okay. And then I'll, I'll give you a hint. We're going to get the same number. So that is why we have to add the twos over here, because the masses have to equal on both sides. All right, do we, do we want to see a reaction? Yeah. Okay. What, what, what do we have here, Mr. McKenney? We've got lead 2 nitrate. Lead 2 nitrate. Potassium and the other small beaker, which we know that potassium is K, iodide is which? It's iodide, so it's Ki. So, when you see things like this right behind Mr. Wagner, when sometimes you add two things, it's because some are more active than others. So, even when you have two solutions like this, you dump one into the other, some reactions will give quite a dramatic chemical or color change, and that's no exception to this. So whenever it is you're ready, do you think you'll see a great color change? Well, probably, because we told you that would happen. So that's why I say everybody see it. Ready? Looks like yellow paint on it. That's actually quite a, 
quite matte. That was pretty cool looking. Two clear liquids make it yellow. That doesn't make sense. That's a, that's a good question. Um, it's advanced chemistry. It has to do with how the compounds, okay, quick, quick lesson. Don't worry too much about it. How the electrons excite. No, it's because they're, yeah, whatever. Um, it's because the electrons excite to a different level, and when they drop back down, it releases a different energy wavelength. Don't worry about it. That's why it happens, though. Okay, we're going to do another one. Is, it, is everybody catching on to what we just did? Why I don't put a 2 down here? Yeah. yeah, because that means our potassium, so when the 2 is down here, that means our potassiums are bonded together. That's what this 2 means. When this two is in front, that means we just have two potassiums sitting around. These potassiums are not bonded together. Whereas if I had a two here, that means they are bonded together. That, that is why we, there's a difference. Everybody make sense? Okay. on what we do, Mr. McKenney, a, a good one for us? Okay. Um, and one of the things, don't get so wrapped up around why you're putting a two here or two there. Column right. seven has a specific name on the table. What is that called? Halogens. Okay. So when you put a two down there, it's just something that you do. Like, for instance, if you're calculating the circumference of a circle, at some point you have to multiply by what number? Right, it's something that you just have to do. So when you see some of these halogens or gases when they're by themselves, you automatically put a two there. It's just something that you do. That's just that's just the way nature works. Okay, it, it just is. And don't wrap your head around on why or it's because again, that's just the way it is. Nature works. Okay, let's do. Uh, okay. Chlorine. Yeah. Let's go. Probably just one more example. Yep, I think so. Okay. I take that back. I am going to make this iron too. Oh. Negative two. Positive two. Too much? Too much at once? Okay, all right. We won't do this then. I'll tell you what it is, though. Um, okay. Two, and then this would be. How do I even figure this out? Is there a formula well, to figure this out? Or is there if I go two here, no, this has to be six, so that would. Oh. Well, there's no way to figure this out. You have to know. No, there is. Oh, there's a method to it. A method? I should need yep. to know the method. I okay, let's, let's know the method. This is a great teaching moment for that method. So I see, I start with my first element. And you can do this. This is another good way to learn it. Um, I'd recommend it. PO4. So this is each one of my elements, right? And so I have one iron, 
I've got three hydrogen and I've got one phosphorus. Over here, this is, this is a good way to keep track of what elements you have. Yeah, yeah, but it always sticks together. That's why. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm, you're right. You're right. We can do that. It, P -O. No, no, you are correct. This is the correct way to do this. Don't. P. -O. Um, three. One. Four. Uh, Twelve. Two. Okay. So now there's a process to this. What you do is start with your first element. That's just the easiest way to do it. Don't pick and choose. Start with your first element. I've got two over there. So that means I'm going to make this a two. So you can erase it or cross it out. Add a two. Okay, so now I've got two. All right, let's move on. So we're settled. We're good here. Let's move. Hydrogen three. We've got three hydrogen. How many hydrogen over here? Two. I've got two. So well, I've got to get six. There's no way to get a two to a three or a three to a two. So let's make it six. So let's go three over here and a two over here. So now I have six hydrogen on both sides. Oh, hydrogen's on that one. Oh, I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So six. We got six. Now let's move to phosphorus. Now i got two because I changed it. I got this two, so I got to change it to a two. Phosphorus is still a one over here, or a three over here. Is that one element, the two H3PO4? Where? one? Yes, this, this, this two goes to here, goes to here, and goes to here. What's the number right next to cross out three on eight? Six. Six. And this, again, this might be a longer process. I gave you a hard one. But, okay, so now... We've got two phosphorus right over here. We've got three. Again, we've got to make it six. So now we have six. Shoot, let's make this six. Right? We've got to make it six. But because we changed it to a two, this is now four. I, I gave you too hard a one right off the bat. That's my bad. But this is the process that you do, and eventually you'll settle. And then, so we got four, four, six. Wait, why did you change that? They were even. Yeah. What? Iron? Yeah. No, because I changed this to a two. Two times two is four. So now I have four hydrogen. Or four. Why did you change it to a two? This one? Because I needed to get my phosphorus to a six. Yeah, have a seat. Have a seat. You have like a ton of phosphorus, don't you? I do. Yep, yep, I have it times two, so I have six phosphorus and six phosphorus. So now we're all equal. Four, six on the hydrogens, six on the phosphoruses. Now I got to get my um, oxygen to equal. We got six, six oxygen over here. Six times four is what? 24. Hey, look at you. Got a brain scientist. 24. Two. Times three times four. Twenty-four. We are balanced. It's a process of elimination. You just keep on bouncing around. Yeah, I know. I gave you too hard of one. That's that's on me. Um, I will admit that. But yes, that is the process. I gave you a full view of the process. This is how you do it. Okay. Everybody's confused. That's okay. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. Yeah.